You probably haven't, uh, we've talked about this every year we've done the show, you probably have not even decided to buy Christmas gifts yet. You wait till the last minute, I like don't to you? wait till the last minute. Oh, yes, I, I never understood There's just that. a feeling about it. It's wonderful. The last couple of days you get out, you and know. things are marked down then, I suppose, too. No, they're, <laughs> they're already marked down already, isn't <laughs> People are having sales that never had sales before in their life. That is true, because yeah. of the economy. My first guest, uh, I cannot think of anybody in recent history who has had um, such a rise in popularity mm -hmm. in the last two or three years as Dudley Moore, uh, and deservedly so. Mm -hmm. He's always been talented. Uh, I first saw Dudley uh, uh, in, New in New York on Beyond the Fringe with mm -hmm. uh, Jonathan... Uh, Peter Cook? With Peter Cook. Not, Peter I was Cook. thinking of Jonathan... Uh, I was thinking of Jonathan, what's his name, the other... <laughs> You know whom I'm talking about. Let's ask the staff. Who is he talking about? Dudley Moore. <laughs> no, Jonathan Miller. That's right. Jonathan Miller. He's another. He was a doctor. Peter Cook. He is a doctor. Yes. Well, I was talking about Peter Cook, who worked with Dudley. <laughs> <laughs> He's been nominated for an Oscar. Who? Who? Peter Cook? No. No. <laughs> Dudley, Dudley Moore. <laughs> He's been nominated for an Oscar. And a couple of Tony Awards. Also been nominated. Yeah. Dudley. <laughs> His latest movie is called Six Weeks, and it co-stars Mary Tyler Moore. And it opens uh, December the 17th, which is, uh, that's tomorrow. Tomorrow. That's tomorrow. <laughs> <laughs> You're starting to go mm -hmm. just a little bit. And his other new film, Love Sick, is going to be released in February. Would you welcome Dudley Moore? Not bad, huh? Oh, I love it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you get a little, I'm a little dingy tonight. You get bizarre during, well, you're bizarre pretty much <laughs> since, since I've ever known you. Yes, uh, yes. You've got that kind of uh, wavelength. But during the holiday season, people get anxiety attacks. They get stressed. Yeah, uh, you wonder what to buy, don't you, and stuff. Yeah. I wonder what to stuff and, and what, to, what to buy. What to buy. <laughs> You have to, do you buy stuff? Isn't that it? That's about right. Uh, yeah. Yes. Yeah. Mm. Do, you st do you buy stuff for a lot of people? Or? I, no, I, I, I try not to. Yeah. It's so hard not to, isn't it? Yes. No, it's to, not easy. To pass by and not buy stuff. <laughs> or to stuff by and not or buy. stuff by. Yes, and not she's a nice. She's a nice girl, by. Yeah. But, <laughs> but uh, no, I, I, I find it very difficult. Yeah. I, I, I do too. And I think there's... there's is getting us absolutely nowhere. <laughs> <laughs> Do you know what I read about you or the articles? You, the, I cannot pick up a, a, a magazine without seeing a picture of you or an article about you. Oh, I can think of a few. Well, I, well, I, I didn't mean all of them, but uh, many of them. And they call you Cuddly Dudley. Oh. oh. Somebody, somebody, yeah. Gag me with uh, whatever it is. <laughs> <laughs> With a hammer, I think. I'm not sure what it is. Well, that started in England uh, some years ago, as a matter of fact. Yeah. There is a, there is a black singer called Cuddly Dudley. That uh, I didn't know. Who I'm often mistaken for. <laughs> He's tall, isn't he? He's tall, tall guy. Yeah. Tall guy. Tall black but, uh, No, it's better than... It's better than... Um, a, a, a flint driven into the head with a mallet. <laughs> No, I, so I, 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 you take what you get. You I take mean, what you get. I, I can't different. complain. Yeah. Um, you, you're going to play the piano later. And most people, I'm sure, know that you are a musician. You started basically as a musician. Jazz. Yeah, yeah. I started. Jazz uh, musician. I started playing the piano when I was six, and I realized that jazz was a more sort of visceral music that yes. uh, got the juices going of uh, the young girls in the school. Uh, I think uh, I think the band would agree that that's the yep. the motivation behind playing uh, uh, attracts women, s sucking so? and blowing those things there. That <laughs> the main uh, I think the main motivation was to uh, to, to give a sort of a hidden message. That's right. Oh, you know, well, you can look really hip. You know, you know I, hey. I like to go to jazz yeah. clubs, and the women think that's really cool. Yeah. Say. Yeah. <laughs> and by the way, yeah. you play, and, yeah. and yeah. Like, did it work out that way? Uh, yeah, I had I had a certain amount of um, few <laughs> few birds. Yeah, a few birds. Yeah, a bit of crumpet here and there. In case they don't know what we're, <laughs> in case they don't know what we're talking about in England, where they would say chicks here or so forth, they say birds over there. Birds, a, yes, birds, bird. crumpet. Crumpets and so on. Skirt. Skirt. Other awful. No, that's, in, that's American too. That's rather 
Nasty, isn't it? Of course. Skirt, isn't no. it? They don't use that. They might. I yeah. think that is like in the 30s and 40s. Is it? Yeah. Well, yes, but I was. I great was. looking skirt, you know. Yes. Broad was a word that mm. was considered a long time ago. <clears throat> really kind of offensive to women and now they can use it meaning hey, hey she's a good broad meaning a nice woman yeah it, it doesn't i don't think it has that connotation anymore extraordinary no. <laughs> <laughs> not really but uh, not really but i'm paid to do this kind of stuff that's really all i could come up with uh, <laughs> uh, when you say in england something is bloody awful that is really well, the expression is not used much, is it, on television? Well, no, it, it is used quite a lot because our television um, conventions are rather more relaxed. That's you know, true. like a saggy pair of underwear or something. Now, no, that's not the best metaphor, but no. there's a certain... Um, Promissiveness? Yes, yes. Thank you. You're welcome. Um, <laughs> I've been wanting to use that word for weeks, and I try to sneak it in when I can. But bloody, bloody is a... Is a, a, a um, How would you describe what that means? It means very. You say something's bloody awful, it means very yeah. awful. Or, you know, um, I remember my, my mother's hair going up on the back of her neck whenever the word was used. Right. She used to uh, describe maybe a neighbour as a silly old C-O-W, which, uh, you know... Cow? Cow, but... <laughs> yes. <laughs> Things like... Can I so, go on to the next plateau yes, now? Yes. yes. <laughs> So, but she, so she was. Uh, she was particularly sensitive to even a word like bloody, which is yeah, I didn't very know. common. Yeah. Let me give you another. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Have you been drinking again? Oh, I yeah. <laughs> All right. Now here's an interview quote, and I've got it right here because I want to look at this for sure. Oh. Said you've covered a lot of ground with women between wives and girlfriends indulging in what you called meaningful one night stands. Yeah. Well. <laughs> I knew that phrase would come back to me. Yes, morning. well, <laughs> was that a fairly accurate... Uh... Well, I, I was making the point. I, I felt, <laughs> <laughs> nicely put, um, that uh, one, one can have a, 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 a nice <laughs> relationship with a, a woman, uh, you know, that can be counted in minutes and seconds rather than years. Uh, I, it's just a... I That's think you're right. Yeah, I think it is true. You I can mean, be with somebody for ten years and really not know them. Yeah. And be with somebody for half an hour. And really, and really know them. Know them. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. We're talking knowing. <laughs> <laughs> We're talking knowing. Oh uh, no. We have to. We have to do a bit of a message. Why do I start talking British when anybody I had anybody from England on? Right now, we'll be back. <laughs> Silly time, folks. You uh, you've gone mainly with uh, with actresses. You know, I mean, gone with, gone with, or dated, or yes, uh, so far. Is, fed. Is it fed? <laughs> you know, loved, been, loved, been enraptured with. Uh, is it because they're in the same business that you feel more comfortable with them, or? Well, I don't know. I, 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 I must say, I, I think actresses are a terrific lot. You know, they're, uh, they're. It's, <laughs> that sounds terrible. But I, I, you know, I think they're interesting, exciting. They're electric. They're alive. They're attractive. And I have to leave now. <laughs> <laughs> Are you getting excited rather, we're, just we're talking about it or what? <laughs> <laughs> oh, I, I, there's something, I mean, it's obviously nice to have people in the same business uh, as your friends. And that's, that's really what yeah. it is. I think it? you're right. Yeah. I think you're right. You ever worry about getting... Um... Yeah. Whew. No, no. no. <laughs> I wasn't, go I wasn't going to say any. I had the other. You ever worried about? <laughs> See the way this works. I will complete the, the, complete the sentence. Sentence. Uh, and I'm sorry. I, I, it's all right. I thought you had already. You ever? Uh, <laughs> you ever worry about getting older and losing um, your uh, attractiveness? Uh, that's very nice of you. Well, women uh, well, do. A lot of actresses do. Well, you know? I think actresses. Uh, uh, I was discussing this on the plane coming here today. It's very. Uh, <laughs> uh, it's very. It's terrible. I think being an actress, really, in this uh, business, as an actor, you 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 don't really have the same preoccupations. I mean, you know, I'll probably scream with panic at some point. Yes, I'll. Yeah. Yes, I'll. You haven't I'll, had the midlife crisis yet. 
Well, I had a midwife crisis. At, <laughs> did she? Yes. yes. <laughs> yeah, that's probably yeah. a brutal affair, I suppose. Brutal, and she yeah. pulled me out. I said, let me stay here. It's awfully nice yeah. and warm. Yeah. And When you were a little boy, <laughs> and I don't... <laughs> And I don't mean that as a, as a put down. Or no, as, no. Or a, or as a pun. <laughs> yes. But I mean you were a boy and, and a little then. Boy. Yes, a younger boy. A little boy. You were probably smaller than boys of your average size. I don't, of your average not. Of course you would. Yeah, no, no, no. I, I, I'm with you. I'm with you. <laughs> that was not a complete question. Uh, no. You were probably smaller than boys your same age. Yes, yes. Did that create any kind of a problem outside of being smaller? <laughs> it did preoccupy me for a long time. <laughs> um, I'm glad you asked me that. Uh, I, um, I did wait till you completed. Yes, I'm yes, just finished. Yeah. Was it good for you? I'll say stop. When I get to the, uh, when I get to the end of it, I'll say stop. stop. Your turn. Good. Your turn. I was uh, I was very embarrassed. At, uh, you know, I, gradually I saw these these kids. You know, getting bigger and. Uh, so forth. It was a preoccupation for for a time, but now it doesn't bother me at all. Yeah. Nothing. It's it's actually a lot of mileage out of, of the fact that yeah. you are um... <laughs> a squirt. No, no. no, no, no. <laughs> he wasn't going to say. No, that. No, I wasn't, wasn't going to say that. No, no, no. Yeah, I, I, I thought I'd just complete it for you. <laughs> <laughs> Diminutive in stature. Compared Diminutive, to, yes. Compared to uh, j the guy Clint Eastwood. Clint Eastwood. Well, Clint's not all that. He's not all that. No, I, I wasn't finished yet. I'm sorry. <laughs> not all that big. <laughs> This is one of Merv's theme shows. The yes. Unfinished, you know. <laughs> yes, unfinished sentences. Look, anyway, the movie opens uh, all over the... Well, I know it's all over the country. Yes, yeah, all over. All over the country. Uh, tomorrow, which is Friday, December... Uh, 17th. <laughs> you throw your voice, too. Yes. That's uh, wonderful. Swore Ed said that. Uh, December the 17th, and I hope it's a big hit. Really, Thank you. Because you're a remarkable talent, and I mean that. Thanks. Thank you. Before you go, as they say. Anyway, before you go, as they always say, you do play. Yes. Nice piano. Thank you. Is that, is that a compliment? You say nice piano. What would yeah, be that's... A, what would be a better accomplished? Yeah, I'll take anything. Accomplished. Yeah. accomplished. Yes. Nice, nice, skilled. Accomplished, nice, accomplished, skilled piano. Skilled pianist yeah. who will now demonstrate the fact that I have just uh, stated. <laughs> Mr. Moore. Thank you. This is a go. I am finished film. with that. Oh, you yeah. theme from the film.
happy holidays. <laughs>